Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Gibbs Gray here, bringing you another Top 5 Tuesday. In this edition of Top 5 Tuesday, you guys will be going through our Top 5 Favourite Dark-type Pokemon. Now, as always, you guys, this list is 100% 100% opinionated, meaning that if you don't agree with my Top 5 choices in this Top 5 list, leave your own in the comment section below. You are feel you feel free to do that. And as always, you guys, I choose not, choose not to include any Legendaries or... Um, I may include Mega Evolutions, but not Legendaries, because I plan to do that as well at the end of the series, as well as a couple of bonus extras. As always, you guys, this list is opinionated, as I say, so no Pokemon in this list is just going to be in there just for the stats or just design, but a combination of their own things that bring them each to their own. But for anyway, now, guys, let's go into our top five Dark-type list. In the number five, you guys, he's been, he's been in the top five stage before. It is Scrafty. Scrafty is in this list because number one, he's a dark type, and um, number two, he can be amazing as a dark type as well. I mean, yes, when I put him in the Fighter Type series episode, I should say, I put him in number four because, you know, there's a Pokemon that was less worthy of number four than he was. But no, he's number five this time because I feel like I can't put, not put him in the list because he's just that good of a Pokemon. He's got the same moveset and the same stuff as he did last time. Uh, he is an adamant nature hope with the ability Moxie holding the expert belt with Zen Headbutt Dragon Dance Ice Punch and Drain Punch. I'm pretty sure I explained this before in the um, Dragon type episode. But if I didn't, let me explain you the reasons for his moveset. Uh, Dragon types, Dragon Dance, we can set up with the Ice Punch and Drain Punch as well as the Zen Headbutt. Drain Punch is stab. It does recover your HP back as well, so that is going to be affected by Dragon Dance. Ice Punch is um, there for type coverage as well as Zen Headbutt. And so, when do you see a dog type getting a psychic type move? You don't normally see that on a psychic type Pokemon, on a dog type Pokemon, unless it's bred, which is then head, but I think it's bred onto Scrafty. But either way, Scrafty is number five this week. In number four, you guys, we have Bat Bishop. Bishop is was amazing in Generation Five, still amazing today. Um, prior to Generation Six, it's a jolly nature, heavy ability, defiant. And it's holding the life bulb with the Musa Iron Head, Night Slash, Brick Break, and Sword Stance. The reason for this is that you set up with Sword Stance so you can easily flinch out your opponent with Iron Head, potentially get a lot of crits with Night Slash, or just break some screens as well as using type diversity with Brick Break. But anyway, guys, Bishop is an amazing Pokemon nonetheless. That's why he is number four this week. In number three, you guys, we have Houndoom. Houndoom was a mega that I absolutely love. I, I don't think I've used him in a Wi-Fi battle as of yet. You know, in my Wi-Fi Wednesday series or Wi-Fi gyms. I should use Houndoom sometime soon. And he is a really good Pokemon. Tip in nature with the um, early, bird, early bird ability. But I choose to equip a Houndoom Knight just because of that. Um, Houndoom Knight just because of that um, amazing mega. It's got the moveset Dark Pulse, Flame Thrower, Sludge Bomb and Nasty Plot. On a Houndoom, you should see, you should expect to see a Sludge Bomb equipped to it, as well as Dark Pulse and Flame Throw, because they're both stab. Um, sludge Bomb does some clean 90% damage, which is really good, and then that Nasty Plot as well helps him set up. So, Houndoom is absolutely amazing as well, because he's number 3. In number 2, you guys, we have Hydreigon. Hydreigon is an amazing Dark-type Pokemon, as well as an amazing Dragon-type Pokemon. You guys should be expecting a dragon type to come soon, so maybe you can expect High Dragon on there. Maybe we don't know yet because the list hasn't been revealed. But anyway, High Dragon is a timid nature. Of course, it's going to have the ability of levitate because that is the only ability High Dragon has. It's held on life for up to, which does um, power up some moves, but you do take really cold damage as well. It has Dark Pulse, Draco Meteor, Flink Throw, and U Turn. Now, even though High Dragon is a timid nature, so it's a special attacker. You, you can still use him because you still do some decent damage to your opponent, but you just swap him out. It, you know, you just get some clean damage off instead of swapping him out for another Pokemon. Flame Throw is there because of type coverage, and then Draco Meteor and Dark Pulse are there because this is his, um, his sad moves, of course. Dark Pulse, I think, does 80% damage, whereas Draco Meteor does 130, but I think it's got something like 85% accuracy. I'm not sure on that. As I say, Flame Throw and u are there for type coverages and for... Um, swapping our Pokemon and what have you, but High Dragon is number two this week because in the number one slot, you guys, we have a Pokemon I recently talked about in another series. We have Sableye, the Dark Ghost Pokemon. Sableye is absolutely amazing as a troll Pokemon. 
It's got the same moveset as I talked about in the um, Poker Talk oh, oh, uh, obvious m announced Megas video. It's got Will Risk, Foul Play, Confuse Ray, and Recover. Will Risk just so you can burn your opponent so he can do less physical damage than it would normally. Confuse Ray just so hopefully you can hit yourself in confusion and then recover just to help um, you know get some health back. And then Foul Play is a stab a dark type move which does more damage equal um, depending on how high high how high the attack of the opposing Pokemon is. Jesus Christ, I can't say that. But it's got Adamant. You can either be an Adamant or Jolly Nature. This can be the um, this can be either your choice. I should I more like to run an Adamant one because three of its moves are affected by Prankster, allowing it to move first. But Prankster is the ability it has, and it's also holding a Dread play because why would I equip a Life Orb onto this thing when it's only got one good one offensive move that can be helped by a Dread play as well because it's the Dark type. But anyway guys, Sableye is number one on this list this week because he's just amazing. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this top 5 edition of Top 5 Tuesday, Dark Type Pokemon. In the next episode we'll be going through my top 5 Ghost Type Pokemon. So if you guys are hyped for that, make sure you leave a like. Just keep up with all the latest Ultra Tech content. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. And then feel free to leave your own top 5 list in the comment section below. Or leave some feedback if you want to, you know guys, your support is very much appreciated on this channel. But thank you guys so much for watching, you guys have been amazing, I think it's great, this is me, signing off.